Welcome back. Yeah. Ratchet yeah. and Clank, Going Commando Developer Commentary, uh, Freedom Edition today. I'm Mike Stout. I'm Tony Garcia. And uh, Tony says this is the Freedom Edition because we're recording this on the 4th of July. We're close enough to the 4th of July. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Uh, we got some red, white, and blue in this screenshot, so let's get That's ready right. to go. So this is the beginning of level s- eight. Se- eight. Yeah, but but it's coming up as level seven. Right. So, wow. Well, yeah, I'm just these these worm guys. I really like. Oh, the little uh, creepers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bunch of good organic enemies. Yeah, uh, which for have sure. the organic death effect on them that we. I think these to. have the bug death effect on them though. Uh, yes. Yeah, sorry, that's what I meant. Yeah. Oh, look, yet another pit that doesn't look like a pit. <laughs> At least it's not to death. Oh, it is! Yep. I don't know why I felt compelled to walk in there and die, but... That was mean of us, to just... To put the fuck you pit? Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of an ass move, yeah. If you'll forgive my language. Oh, these guys have armor! So I guess we, this is where we start introducing armor a little bit, um, which was actually a pretty big deal in development. Yeah, because uh, as you damage them, they had you know the armor would get knocked off of them. Yeah, and I remember that it was sort of we wanted to figure out a way to reuse enemies, but not make them feel the same. Right. As yeah. you progress through the level. Because we had we had already bitten off way more than we can chew, and doing right. five new enemies for each level was just way too much exactly and so we ended up coming up with the armor and i guess this is the first time i'm noticing it i don't know if we might have actually had armor in the enemies before this point um I but yeah we started anything. putting little pieces of armor on the enemies just to sort of vary up the art while still being able to reuse sort of the animations that we had uh done up until this point point. and one of the really cool byproducts of that is that you know as the enemy's health goes up uh, it, it meant that as you hurt the enemy, they would sort of just naturally have damage states. Right. Uh, things would fall off of them. It felt good to do partial damage to an enemy because the very first shot would almost always knock off a piece of armor. Right. Um, also, this is the first level where we have the new, uh, uh, the upgraded health globes. Okay. They're a different color now, uh, which I think instead of giving you back one, give you back five. Uh, you'll notice um, I switched to the the blaster weapon just now. It's uh, one of the one of the like uh, uh, big design considerations in a Ratchet and Clank game when you're doing combat is which enemy do you want to shoot first? And uh, enemies that were flying because this is a third person game and you don't have the perfect ability to aim. Enemies that were flying gave us a chance to say. Okay, you'll want to switch weapons if you want to attack a flying enemy first. So right. for a guy on the ground, you might use something like this, you know, which can shoot straight ahead. Uh, but for a guy in a guy in the air, you'd want to use something with a lot of auto tracking, and the Lancer has a, a lot of auto tracking. Um, I probably could have also thrown down mini turrets. You can always throw down mini turrets. Yeah, they're they're good no matter what. And I've been underusing them. I feel a little bad for that. I I, I didn't want to make this game look too easy. <laughs> I don't think you're going to have that problem, Mike. Especially not after we've failed so many other times. Right. I think I, I always, I like, I underused these just for, for giving myself an extra challenge. But I remember a very specific la- level later on where I would always upgrade all of my weapons. Uh, so I would, I, would, I would sort of go through underpowered just for the challenge of it. Dude, they blow like red smoke. That's crazy. <laughs> My weapons are starting to feel really uh, outdated now. Uh, yeah, we haven't done any of the big bolt grinds uh, recently, so we're falling a little bit behind, I think, on, uh, it says on our armory. Oh, did you get an upgraded wrench? Oh, yes, I did. Wow, this is a level of progression that's going on right now. Clank 
Clank yeah, loves logic puzzles. Look, it's written in binary. We couldn't uh, we couldn't have any English text in the game because the game uh, was localized for you know the entire world, and we right. would generally ship the discs all at the same time. So uh, you'll never see like that Megacorp is one of the very few exceptions because I don't think we had to localize it. Right. I think Megacorp was the same in all the languages. But yeah, you will very very rarely see text uh, on on any kind of a texture in the level. I think the lava gun might be the next best purchase that you're gonna get. Could I afford it? I don't think so. I think you're close though. I am close. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I like the lava gun. It's a good. Oh, wait, gun. is that the bouncer at the end there? That was the bouncer. Oh, the bouncer. Ugh. But it's a hundred oh. grand. I know. We'll have to do some fundraising if we're gonna get that. I think. If I was forced to pick the best weapon, I think the bouncer is the best weapon in the game. Maybe not the most fun, uh, maybe not the most flashy, but I think the most useful weapon in this game is the bouncer. Besides the mini turrets. Which, uh, late addition was the bouncer. The bouncer did come, yeah, I think we cut another weapon and needed uh, something yeah. to replace it, and the bouncer was the, the replacement. Yeah. Um, so basically we had one weapon, I forget what it was, but it might it have been the way, rift cannon. The, uh, the what? Oh, the rift gun. Yeah. Might have been. I'm not sure. And it was either too hard to do or too powerful or both. And we had to cut it late in the game. And someone said, what about a gun that drops a ton of balls? Yeah. Uh, which I think we had prototyped early on. Like, it was a prototype weapon they decided not to put in the game. And then we sort of went back and resurrected it later when we needed a last-minute addition. Which was a good call, I think. It's a good weapon, man. I, I love that weapon. I usually don't pick it up till later in the game because it's so expensive, though. And I remember the level that I picked it up on. So, uh, we didn't say this, but I don't think either of us worked on this level. No, uh, I believe Tim Trespass did... Uh, I, did I think he did most of the crystal stuff. So he probably did this level I think as well. he did this part, too, yeah. Yeah. And uh, uh, Brian Allgaier designed it. Brian, the, the design director. Right, and then some artist that I don't know arted it. Well, and I remember. I'm very sorry about that. This is kind of interesting. So he was up really late because he had to manage the design department and design this level at the same time, uh, and he was he was stuck. He didn't have any inspiration for what to base this level on. So if you look at the outline of this level, you'll notice that it's shaped like Jimi Hendrix's head. <laughs> uh, the 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 part the red part down there is Jimi Hendrix's face, and then this is the big afro. Uh, the desert, and then way off in the distance, uh, which doesn't exist anymore, where there was like a little uh, hair pick. <laughs> it was called the Rave Cave. And uh, that didn't make it into the final game. But yeah, so Jimi Hendrix's head is the basis for this level. You designers get inspiration from the weirdest of sources. Dude, my wrench is awesome. I know. The newly upgraded wrench is pretty powerful. Oh, God. I'm going to die. It's almost like we want you to use the wrench. But we didn't want you to we use the wrench. We so don't want you to use the wrench. So why would we... There, it's funny, there's so many things we do in this game that are completely at odds with our... Uh, our, our philosophy. Like, what we're looking for, yeah. Yeah, our overall philosophy is to not do most of your combat with a wrench. Yeah, it's uh, use weapons. Switch weapons, uh, always buy new ones, and, um, and we give you a wrench upgrade for some reason. I think people were complaining about the wrench being underpowered and, you know, since they like to use it. Oh, yeah, the big reveal of the only ever, the, the only other Lombax in the world, uh, at least up until the PlayStation 3 Ratchet games. Even though she doesn't have a tail, which, which really pissed off a lot of the furries. Did it really? Oh, God. Uh, I'm pretty sure to this very day, you can go on the Insomniac forums and find a thread uh, about Angela's frickin' tail. I won't do that. Did you say you won't? I won't. I will not. What do we got here? Oh, we got more laughs? Oh, no. Oh, oh, it's, oh, it's my level. Oh, right, right, right. I think this was level 14, but ended up being level 9 or something. Yeah. 
Yes, the lawn ninjas. <laughs> That's why I put them in, uh, in one of my levels in Ratchet 3. Oh, the lawn ninjas. What does a testing facility have to do with galactic danger? I am unsure. However, I believe we should I love how Angela just sort of left you here. Uh, oh, is she gone already? Oh, yeah, she took off. You have to fix your ship. She couldn't stick around. Okay, got it. This is the greatest little hack, by the way, these floating... Uh, display screens for whenever we needed to show a, <laughs> an info bot because in the first game they they would come out of clanks uh or no there were little robots that would turn into just, uh, tv screens but we didn't have them in this game for some reason we, we just decided to use tv screens so we... so this is the uh the crystals yes i imagine this is going to be a riveting level i there's no way we're doing this whole level uh, at least not on video. Hello. There is no chance. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I'm i anticipating doing a little bit of it, enough to get us to the next area. And then if we need to mine, we'll do that off camera. Yeah, because that's not going to be exciting viewing for anybody. Really. Dude, I love this uh, uh, the hippie. The hippie? Yeah. yeah, he's a good guy. Oh, man, remember... Uh, uh, so we, we got kind of attached to the idea of crystals as a uh, a mining yeah. commodity uh, to the point where in the next game we had uh, you, you know we, we we had crystals then we set it in a sewer so we decided they'd be sewer crystals uh, which essentially I think ended up meaning poop was the sewer in up your arsenal then yeah because yeah. I remember the sewer because it was a hell of a level to do the sewer. Uh, that's the only one I remember. I think these were all done by Tim, because I remember Tim having a really difficult time trying to get this working. Oh, because it's just so massive. Yeah, it's gigantic. Uh, I mean, the 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 terrain was uh, uh, very different from anything we'd ever done in Ratchet and Clank before. Uh, it's sort right. of a big, open. You can go anywhere. I mean, the engine is very optimized to, uh, you know, display corridors and rooms and stuff. Right, exactly. Well, it's also just so much traveling, uh, the lands, this gigantic landscape, and people would be like, it's kind of boring. And it's kind of like, well, it's kind of huge. So there's going to be slow parts in the level no matter what you do. Uh, you know what? I need to go get ammo. Uh, so how many crystals do you have to get for the hippie before... Uh... Oh, God, without the booster boots, this is going to suck. <laughs> um, I wasn't paying attention. I was talking to you while he... Uh, oh. he'll, he'll probably tell me when I come back to him. What's up, hippie? Ten crystals, and I have two. Um, have you seen Where's... a vendor? I haven't seen it. He's got to be around. There, there it is. is. There's no way we wouldn't have put a vendor here. <laughs> that would have been really mean. Yeah, you gotta fly somewhere else, but you can't kill everything with the wrench. 